Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Final Fantasy V. I almost just said Final Fantasy V The After Years. Anyways, I wanted to go over something quick in walls. Uh, over here is a house that actually has an item in it. And this guy. The crystal is gone now, and with it, the water's power. From now on, we will have to defend ourselves! So yeah, I guess the water crystal was preventing monsters or something from getting into the town. You know, yet soldiers, you probably use them as well. Got a frog. Ribbit, ribbit. Another frog over here. Let's go talk to that one as well. Uh, I think I just gotta go up here. Where are you, buddy? It's easy being green. Dig. They always put little... <clears throat> Excuse me. They always put little Easter eggs like that, talking to frogs in these sorts of games. Well, in Final Fantasy, anyways. Now that we have the Summoner and Time Mage, I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna buy some time magic. Well... Okay, we're gonna buy, like, all the magics. <laughs> not just time, the summoning ones as well. Sure, they're mostly not useful, but, you know, they'll come in handy. We might as well give, uh, give them something to do anyways. That being said, I do want to get Lena and Gala up to level 3 Black Mage and White Mage before switching them over to their respective class. Lena's gonna be a summoner, Gala's gonna be a time mage. Now that we're done in the town, let's head back to the castle. There's some NPCs we can talk to here. Their dialogue has changed, of course, according to uh, the water crystal breaking. We found a wounded soldier from Karnak and brought him back to the palace. He's resting in the guards' barracks. Alright. Guards' barracks. That's not down there. We will want, want to go down there a little bit later. Oh. Is that him? Are you him? I was investigating the meteorite that fell near Karnak when I was suddenly warped here. Hey, where is here anyways? Where'd Karnak Castle go? It's long gone, buddy. Listen up good. You ever run into a monster called, uh, Jackanaps? You're up a creek. That is a monster that can be found down here, actually. Not down here. I went to the wrong area. I think it's actually just down here. Yeah. Right? We're getting confused. Yeah, it's down here. This is where we need the Thief's Flea ability. Because if we run into Jack, well, we're gonna get jacked. And that's not even a joke. He will destroy us. Now, last time I mentioned we were gonna go visit an Ice Queen. So we need to go around the castle and into this hidden water tower. This is where we're gonna find Shiva and an Ice Soldier. Which isn't too, too bad. They won't cause too much damage. They, uh, drop some... Oh, right. Right. Healing Rod. They're pretty weak. They're weak to fire, of course. Don't have Lena attack them. <laughs> uh, I will want to change people over to blue mages. Because you can find that elf toad here. The one with the pawn course. Though I think we're gonna get up a little bit further before we actually go in there. Now we have a, where is it, Fire, a flame rod equipped that we got from the mages in Wall's Tower. Excuse me, let's click out of there, thank you. <laughs> wasn't, wasn't clicking out for some reason. But uh, we're gonna wanna have one of those for this fight. If you don't have one, you wanna go to Karnak and buy some spells and I believe they actually sell the fire rods there as well. And then come back. You don't want to just come up here willy-nilly, especially at the levels we're at. We're not that strong. Uh, level 10's kind of high. The boss is going to be level 11. But it should be all good in the hood with the flame rod. I am Shiva, the ice goddess. If you would command me, first you must prove your worth. And now it's Shiva boss time. We want to go down to Gallif. We want to go to items. Equipment. Flame rod. Fuck all y'all. I'm out. Oh, Gallif, use it. I already said my one-liner, Gallif. Use it. Thank you. All right, now we just need to attack Shiva. She has four more, 400 more health. We'll use a cure just to make sure no one dies. You can steal a Mithril sword from those ice commanders, but it's not really worth it. Please don't kill them. Thank you. 
One more round of physical attacks from Ferris and uh, Bart should be good. Yep, there it is. Flame Rod makes it a lot easier than it probably is intended, but I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> and we get a Frost Rod. I think we already had one of those. Receive the summon monster Shiva. And that's a really good summon that we're gonna be able to use for a little while. Enemies in the next area are gonna be pretty weak to uh, ice. And we're gonna be getting some higher level elemental spells. So yeah, I'm gonna switch out my party for uh, blue mages and I will be right back. On the upside for this, they are close to getting the second level in blue mage, so I won't actually need to have them in blue mage form anytime soon, except for Bartz who, while he doesn't need to be a blue mage right now, I would rather him be a blue mage so I can just get, you know, experience with it. Um, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, like I was saying, Bartz doesn't need to be a blue mage. He's, you know, got enough levels as is, but to kind of balance out his monk and blue mage a little bit, I will be keeping him as a blue mage when learning blue magic. Because the blue mage is not that great when it comes to certain combat. Oh, thank god they didn't actually take that long. So yeah, I'll just uh, I want to kill off the uh, ice soldier. So we'll just use an arrow on him, and we'll cure Bart because I don't trust the enemies not to kill him. Another arrow on the ice soldier, and we'll use lightning on one of the toads. Now Galuf did gain his second level uh, blue mage, so he'll never be a blue mage again. He has the learning passive ability or ability that he can equip. So his learning is passive while having to be a blue mage. Which is great, because I don't want people to be blue mages other than Bart's. Now we're pretty much just gonna kill one of these off and then wait for the guy to uh, use Pawn Chorus on us. Could take anywhere from a minute to two, or three, or four, or ten, hopefully not ten. If it does take a while, just cut to it. And then we'll be done in Wells for a little while. We'll come back here. There's Pong Chorus. Didn't hit, so we gotta wait again. Um, but yeah, we will be back in Wells a, a little bit later. Once uh, Ferris learns the Flea ability. But that's not gonna be until after Karnak, I think. Alright, come on. Use that Pong Chorus that actually hits. Oh. Yeah, alright, I'm a frog. That took a little bit of time. <laughs> but, uh, whatever, just defend. When you're a frog, you are pretty prone to getting your ass handed to you, so try not to, and we'll be good to go. We have a Maiden's Kiss, I'm not gonna use one. That's kind of a waste of an item if we do it that way. And, now Lena and Ferris never have to be a blue mage either. So I'm gonna switch Oh, and we learned Pong Course. That's probably the more important part, but... And probably not, because we're not going to use it. But anyways, I'm going to switch everyone over back to their other classes, and I'll be right back. Alright, everyone's back to their original classes, and let's just leave this little water tower. Now, I'm going to go rest at the end, and then we're going to fly back up to that meteor near the Wells Tower. So there is another blue magic we can learn here, but we would have to be pretty overleveled or very lucky. <laughs> to learn it. It's from those jack snaps from the dungeon of the Wells Castle. Uh, it's called Moon Flute. We can't get it right now, so we're just gonna bypass it. There's gonna be ample opportunities to learn it later, so don't worry about it. And you're probably wondering, why haven't we gone over the jobs that we learned, or acquired from last episode? There's uh, not much to go over, really. We get the Berserker, who's a fairly good you know, physical fighter. However, they're always berserked, so they'll automatically attack on their own. They're not really worth having if you can have a knight or a monk in your party. The Mystic Knight is a pretty good my, uh, knight, and I'm eventually going to have Ferris learn from the Mystic Knight. Uh, it can enchant their, their sword with a spell and uh, do extra damage to an enemy. The varying spells have different effects, 
and I'll probably list what that does in the description below. Then we got the Time Mage and the Summoner. I mean, not much to go over them. I mean, Time Mage does Time Magic. Summoner is a Summoner. Oh, and the Red Mage. We'll go over that guy in a second. But they're pretty basic. They pretty much, their job title alone sums up what they can do. Some uh, Time Mage is mostly just a buffer in this version of the game. While his spells will eventually get distributed between white and black magic in future Final Fantasies. Up until... I think 12, actually, when they re-split the, the magics again, don't... isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Red Mage... Uh, yeah, Red Mage. It's a jack-of-all-trade class. Eventually, it can learn dual cast. Costs a lot of AP. And by the time you actually accomplish it, you'll be end-game and probably destroying enemies anyways. It's fun to have if you're definitely a mage type party but if you're just playing for the first time i would avoid it unless you feel like grinding out job class abilities which you might on your first time i know i did so there's a few good places later on in the game that allow you to actually do that so let's go explore this meteorite as that injured guard said he went through a meteorite and appeared here which is kind of odd that there's a doorway and a pathway leading to a teleporter and he died. Bart! Did he make it? Did he warp? We won't know until we try. Or Bart could come back and be like, hey guys, that's totally safe. You don't know, he could be on the other side like, oh my god, it hurts! This, this all looks familiar. And that soldier in the tower knew me. Who am I? You're a man with a glorious mustache. Kind of reminds me of the Devil's Road in Final Fantasy IV. Though less meteorite in, you know, Final Fantasy IV. Inside Karnak Meteorite! But we don't have our Windrake anymore. Here you. I think that's how you pronounce it. I could. <laughs> Could definitely be wrong there. Now you can see on our map, we pretty much just gotta go north and to the west, and eventually we will come across to the town. There's some mountains there, and some wild narcs, which will eventually use that skill, and, you know, we learn that spell. <laughs> I was gonna say, they can learn, uh, use the question mark, question mark, question mark. Uh, blue mage, but I, I guess, you know, it was more of a guarantee because I think they all took a turn using it on us. So yeah, I don't even have to worry about that. That's actually really good. Sometimes they take a while to use it, at least in the original version they did. And these guys are extremely basic. I can actually just auto battle now because they're not that, <laughs> not that big of a deal. And yes, we learned question mark, question mark, question mark. Which is in bad blue magic, but it's whatever. And after that short trip, we were at Karnak. And we're fighting these guys again. But you know what? I'm going to call it an episode here. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like button below. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you head over to my video section, check out some of my other content, and see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you all next time. Oh, I gained a level! Neat! See you all next time.